more than 36 million of those heart-shaped boxes of chocolate will be sold this Valentine's Day. Chocolate is one of the most popular gifts to give, but do you really have to spend a lot of money to get someone a chocolate that they'll really like? We have an answer tonight. Well, our consumer reporter, Kim Sem, does have a tough assignment she did of tasting chocolate, rating chocolate, and you put the, the big brands to the test. I mean, you have the name ones here, the popular ones. Yeah, and you know, you guys have been teasing me a bit about this. This really <laughs> was a tough assignment. You had a lot of time to put in here. I had a lot of time to put in, and a lot of people in the newsroom to fend off. Everybody was trying to steal my chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but now on to the story. Let's face it. Chocolate is chocolate. It's all pretty good. But we wanted to find out if the average person could really tell the difference between, say, a $30 box of chocolates and a $10 to $15 box of chocolates. Average American eats 10 to 12 pounds of chocolate a year, much of it around Valentine's Day. Question is, do you really have to drop a bundle to make your sweetheart happy? For today's test, we headed to the UW Memorial Union, armed with $100 worth of chocolate. We put a $30 box of Godiva truffles up against the chocolate truffles found in the less expensive but popular Russell Stover and Whitman boxes. We chopped them up, then went to work sampling ten people, six women, and four men. We gave them the less expensive stuff first and asked them to tell us what they think. Mmm! Oh my god! That's delicious! It's good. It tastes like chocolate. I mean, there's nothing special about it. Uh, it's got bold flavor. Rich. Waxy and chewy. Delicious. Yeah, it's good. Tastes like it has calcium in it. Like a calcium shoe, kind of. Okay. Again, that was the less expensive chocolates. Now it's time to see what our samplers thought of the more expensive Godiva chocolates. Melts in your mouth. It's good. I like that one. It's softer. It doesn't get stuck in my teeth as much. It's, uh, it, I guess, it just genuinely tastes better. You know, I really like the creaminess of this one. Yeah, overall, I like the second one better. It was a softer chocolate. A lot creamier. Mmm. Mmm. This one has, for me, a more appealing center. A little softer, uh, smoother. This one, for some reason, felt like I was being sinful. <laughs> <laughs> ten out of the ten people we sampled said the more expensive Godiva chocolate comes out on top. Most, of course, said both were good, but there was a definite difference. And if this test is any indication, it appears you do get what you pay for. Now, this is interesting. Yes, everyone said they liked the more expensive chocolate better, but before I revealed which chocolate was which, I asked them which of the two they thought was actually more expensive. And three out of the ten actually said they thought the less expensive chocolate had the higher price tags. So I guess maybe, just maybe you might be able to pull one over on your sweetheart. Not that either of you would want to do that, <laughs> no, but, you know, maybe it could be done. All right. Tough work there, Kim. <laughs> um, you try to piece from each one, right? I mean, I did. did you have a favorite out of all these? I did. Well, you know, I'm going with the majority on this one. Yeah. The more expensive stuff was better, of course. But that was when you put them both together. But again, like I said earlier, chocolate's chocolate. It's all pretty good. Yeah, so. good point. If you don't have the Godiva there, the other stuff fills it's in. Still, it is yeah. still good. And you know what? I didn't want you guys to feel left out. Aww. So I have, like we have been, right? We I, sit right, right. Kim, we sit so. right next to I, I have so. a box of chocolate for well, each of you. Thank um, you. Um, you can fight over which is which. You probably will. <laughs> <laughs> this is the Godiva, by the way. Yeah, so... Kim, you thank you. Have, sure, thank hey, you it was, uh, like you said, it was a very tough assignment. It was. We'll share it with our crew. Yeah, I need a few more like that, I think. I need to <laughs> test cream puffs or something here soon.